Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is your messages from your divine counterpart reading. So it is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and any other strong Piscean placements out there. However, it cannot be for everyone watching. So if it is your story, comment below. If not, you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear. And remember time, energy, and gender are fluid. So reverse roles, however they apply to your story. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my my channel and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings so to my lovely Pisces subscribers you guys are awesome thank you for your love and support of the channel if you are new definitely subscribe and check the description box below where you can find all of my accurate social media links and ways to connect with me outside of YouTube so just keep in mind y'all there are still some spam accounts out there lingering so just continue to report and block these individuals uh, remember I will never reach out and solicit you for my services or send you any mysterious links or anything suspicious um, because I'm a professional and I would never do that so and no professional will but overall you guys don't give out your personal information don't open any unknown messages from weird fishy looking accounts and uh, again thank you to those of you who have been helpful to me and letting me know what's going on just don't leave yourself open to those attacks, okay? Because uh, that's what they are. They're like cyber attacks. And you guys, it's everywhere. It's not just in the tarot community or social media. Um, times are hard and people are getting desperate. And instead of actually working, they're they're resorting to being thieves, right? I just saw a video on YouTube yesterday about how people are like stealing catalytic converters to make money and it's just getting crazy out there in them streets, okay, Pisces? So stay aware, stay vigilant. Anyways, if you haven't already seen my community tab, I am still running the 50% off all private reading special for celebrating my two year anniversary on YouTube. So again, thank you guys for your love and support of the channel over the years. Um, I look forward to many more good times. So speaking of, I have been doing the intimate extended bonus readings each month or well each season for the top four most views however this year I'm taking it down a notch I'll be doing two videos for the top most views each season as well as an additional birthday bonus reading for whosoever season it is at the time so that way everyone can get their chance because um, Pisces I'm not even sure if I've ever done an intimate extended reading for you guys so and there are signs that haven't even got one so I want it to be fair and I'm also trying to free up some of my time so I can put more energy into my members only area which if you are a member of the spicy subscriber society I'm sure that is exciting for you um, and if you're not and you'd like to join that link is down below so let's finally get into the reading Pisces again this is messages from your person so it should be about your person but if it ends up being about you then that's okay too just take what resonates with your story and leave the rest behind okay so obviously welcome the cross watchers and let's see what spirit has to say about your person's energy crown chakra and divine feminine and discernment interesting so we have three popping out. First of all, the crown chakra. That reminds me of the movie Soul, if you guys have seen it. Um, actually, I created a meme about that moment in the movie. So feel free to check out my social media. But the frequency of the crown chakra, the violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. Um, Pisces, I feel like y'all are very spiritual, typically, uh, of what I know of Piscean individuals. And if your person is starting to connect to the divine source, listening to their guides, their guidance, and um, just in general, like being of light energy, that's really good news. Um, if this is something that they're working on, that's still good news. So Divine Feminine here, the frequency of Divine Feminine supports our receptive, nurturing, and soft side, allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our intrinsic understanding of our connection to all of creation. So I'm hearing um, Woman by Doja Cat playing in the back of my head, okay? So you are Divine Feminine Pisces. This information could be really about you, but 
if you're connecting with someone who's coming into their divine feminine energy, that's very, very good news. This is someone connecting with their softer side, okay? Someone who is open and receptive to creating abundance and creating in general. So with discernment, the frequency supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment, yet with compassion and wisdom, okay? So balancing out their need to maybe scrutinize and being more compassionate and receptive, right? So um, I think this person too could be having a spiritual awakening, right? It's so important to use your discernment when having a spiritual awakening as there is so much information out there. Uh, your person could be recognizing that you are their divine feminine counterpart, bringing them into the light and awakening them to the spiritual journey. This sounds a little twin flamey, I'm not gonna lie. But Pisces, this could also be about you, right? This could be your energy and maybe they're attracted to you, but they could also be experiencing this opening within themselves, connecting to their feminine side um, and learning how to balance, right? The energy of the outside or the masculine versus the inside, our intuition. Either way, we're all connected by source. So having that crown chakra opening is just so important right now for your person, all right? So let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm gonna use the Game of Thrones tarot to actually love. I was being very called to it for some reason for these readings. So hopefully you enjoy the imagery as much as I do. If you haven't already seen the show, spoiler alert ahead, um, and definitely get you some HBO Max, okay? So Pisces, we have the 10 of cups and the ace of swords. Now keep in mind the 10 of cups, I just had to flip it around. So this could involve your person um, realizing where they have not been fulfilled in life, um, maybe feeling as if they have been reaching towards a happy ending that's out of their control or again, out of reach. But the Ace of Swords is divine clarity, communication, and a new beginning. So I almost feel as if your person is wanting to talk about their unhappiness and, and what they've gone through. So, you know, with this happening here, awakening and going through this, the spiritual journey, it does highlight where we have been giving away our power, where we have been entertaining, um, you know, situations that aren't actually making us happy, that don't resonate or align with who we are anymore. So your person could have ended a long-term connection, or again, this just could be about them feeling unhappy or unfulfilled. They could also be wanting to talk about a separation, okay, is what I heard. So maybe um, you and this person, Pisces, you are each other's happy ending, but you could be in separation right now and this person is feeling lost. They wanna talk about it though, okay? This is also the energy of discernment popping through. Your person could be receiving clarity about their past and recognizing what has kept them stuck or feeling unhappy and unfulfilled. They could be waking up to the true spiritual journey and trying to come back to that place within themselves of union before actually having a physical one, okay? So this is starting to get very specific, Pisces. Um, let's see what else we need to see about this person. What other messages do we need to see about this person? Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. So we have the hermit. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, okay, or someone with Virgo-like tendencies, someone who had to go within and enlighten. This is a voluntary energy. Bran is holding up and looking at the light and I feel as if he's also communicating with this crow. Okay, that was very significant in the show, those of you who have watched it. So there's this communication happening within that's giving this person a new understanding of how they are divinely connected to source. I feel too the hermit energy could signify someone who's not talking, keeping to themselves, ghosting, someone who's very over analytical so they keep to themselves so this could be calling out personality traits or just your situation with this person your, your person could have gone hermit mode on you but <clears throat> 
even if they're not talking, it doesn't matter because they're watching. Okay, Pisces, they're watching you intently. And this mask in front of their, their face here, it's like they could be watching you from fake accounts. Okay, they could be um, checking in on you through other people that they know. Like, hey, can I use your phone for a second? Going on Facebook real fast to see what you're doing. Okay, this is someone who wants to communicate. But it's almost like this person has something to hide. And maybe they're hiding themselves in general because they are going through this awakening. They're trying to discern and gather information on what's going on with you, Pisces. And I do think this involves some sort of a separation because we have the Ten of Swords. So two things happening here. For some of you, this person did end a long-term connection where they were feeling unhappy and unfulfilled. Or this person is watching from a distance because they betrayed you. So whichever this is, there was a betrayal here. This is a complete ending of a karmic cycle. But it's such a promising card because once that energy is exposed, it's so easy to move forward. And I think that that's what this person is trying to discern. Have you moved on, Pisces? Now that they're starting to awaken and connect to the divine source, it's like they're seeing things from a new perspective, but not because someone showed it to them, but because they looked within and recognized within themselves what went wrong, whatever this is for you, okay? So something has ended here, and the word traitor is just very significant. This person could have been a traitor, and I'm hearing that song by um, Olivia Rodrigo. So... You're still a traitor. So this couldn't could have involved like a low key sort of an affair situation. You know, you could have become very close with this person and they could have walked away or chose someone else. Um, and even though they may have denied it or maybe uh, tried to make it look like it wasn't that it still felt like a betrayal. OK, so I feel like almost like this person got away on a technicality. OK, but we've got. The Two of Wands and the Strength card. So the, the Two of Wands is in the reverse. So I almost feel like this person is stuck at a crossroads right now. They know they have to make a decision. They know that they're on the precipice of change. And they're thinking about the future. But with the Strength card here, this could be... This could be saying your person's ego might be stronger than their need to move forward in this connection. But ultimately, this could be simply saying that they know that the connection between you is strong, that they are confident in how they feel about you, but there's something that's keeping them stuck on the path right now. So what is that? Let's clarify that. The Eight of Cups. Okay, so they still do need to walk away from someone or something. So this is starting to sound more like the one storyline, okay? This person is in an unfulfilling connection, one where they are unhappy. Um, maybe they want a family, but they aren't able to have one um, for whatever the specific reasons and circumstances. But they still need to walk away from that. That's why they're stuck. They need to uh, focus on what it is they truly want but by doing that, they're going to need to walk away from other things. So the other card here is the chariot. Yeah, and this is all a part of their journey, right? They, they are needing to gain balance over themselves. We were talking about the balancing of the masculine and feminine energy. They need to balance that within themselves before they can move forward. So this divine feminine energy is very relevant because... In order to come into union, you do need to be open and receptive to love. You need to be resonating in that energy of love and that frequency of love consistently. But how can someone be resonating with that energy consistently if they're entertaining things that don't truly make them happy? They can't. That's impossible. It's not possible to really do that. 
So this person is being challenged, I think, to balance that energy and discover more about their feminine nature, being open and receptive to love, to union, and the possibilities of what could happen if they were to take those steps forward on their new path. But like I said, there's something that's kind of lingering behind that maybe something that still needs closure. Or this could even be almost like a victim mentality in a sense, like maybe not believing that they deserve happiness because there's so many broken cups metaphorically. Okay, but the chariot signifies that balance, the need to move things forward. And you can see this from two different perspectives. You can see this as these individuals are cheering this dragon on versus they're crying a war cry and charging towards this dragon to protect themselves. So it's one of those situations that is like, complete opposites. It needs to be balanced. There needs to be um, an equal middle before this can move forward. So that is a very interesting message coming through for your person. Um, let's see what else, anything else we need to know about this person, about this connection. You know what's funny? I actually just picked up the deck, but one card remained. There was one card that I didn't get. What is it? So the Six of Cups, okay, yeah, this you and this person definitely have a soul connection, okay? This is a past life connection, and something about being in your energy is soothing to this person. They feel relaxed. They feel like they can um, really let their guard down. This is kindness and nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about the memories of love that were created in this connection. So that is... I feel what is eventually going to break this person open and move this chariot on because they are unable to forget the past, okay? They're unable to forget the love that you shared and they are thinking about it a lot, which is why they're keeping their eye on you right now because they could have very well betrayed you and they don't want you to move on. They don't want to lose this connection with you. They feel as if this connection with you is important. It, it's a spiritual connection. And you guys, I just saw a cardinal fly past my window as I just got the eight of wands. So that could be a sign for some of you, okay? Cardinals represent divine messengers and protectors. So the eight of wands coming in, like I said, it's a spiritual connection. This person experienced love at first sight with you. And vice versa, this is Cupid sliding that arrow between the butt cheeks, okay? This is them recognizing their need to move things forward. They feel passion for you. They want to communicate with you. You're the one that lights their fire, okay, Pisces? This unfulfilling connection that they were in, it's... It's like they have this need to drive things forward because they can't stand being in that energy anymore, they can't stand living or being with someone who doesn't truly make them happy. Yeah, Seven of Swords. So this could very well involve a third-party situation, an affair. You see he's trying to learn how to wield the sword. He doesn't look very confident. So he needs to figure it out, right? This is the card of strategy. This is Jon Snow's best friend. I can't remember his name. Dang. Um... It's like right on the tip of my tongue, but every time I go to formulate it, it goes away. So the Seven of Swords is someone strategizing a way to get what they want, right? To maybe, um, mm, I, I want to say they want to get away with it, which is kind of shady, right? That's a shady type energy coming through. So again, this makes me feel like your person still needs to walk away from this other energy because we have the eight of wands with the seven of swords. So even though they feel this connection with you, even they, though they experience this passion, this love, this drive to come towards you, they know that they would be a shyster for doing it, okay? They know that they would have to sneak around to be with you at this point. So your person is at this crossroads because they still need to walk away and focus on union, focus on opening their heart to true love. 
So they could be in some sort of marriage of convenience. And we have the seven of spears, okay? So seven of wands is indicating this person's need to stand up for themselves. So they could be stuck at this crossroads because the ten of cups in reverse if we go even deeper into that energy of unhappiness and not feeling fulfilled, this person could also be in the negative energy of water in itself, um, you know, dealing with someone who is guilt tripping them or emotionally abusing them, okay? And that could be why they know they need to stand up for what they believe in. They know that this is going to be a battle ahead and that's why they're in warrior's pose. They could also be acting very defensive or have acted that way in the past with you or with their other person, whoever they are. But there's a need to, to fight for themselves, fight for what's right, stand up for the connection and fight for this. Like I said, they don't want you to move on. It's like they don't want you to move on, but they're not moving on. So there's an impasse here, right? So... Five of Cups under that, it's caused a lot of sadness and grief. You know, these are very repetitive themes coming out in these readings. I urge you to really check out your other placements because this has been a major theme. Sadness, depression, feeling like completely knocked down based on things that, that didn't work out in their favor, right? But look, their back is turned to the Two of Cups. Same thing that we were talking about with the Eight of Cups. All this person needs to do is turn around. Like they need to look and see what they're missing out on. It's like they see you, Pisces. They know that they're missing out on your love. But it's like for some reason they're not seeing the bigger picture just yet. By them being not willing to walk away, they're losing you more and more each day. So only this person has the ability to, to turn around and, and turn this around. Otherwise, they're going to stay stuck in that depressive energy. They're never going to be able to move forward. So let's talk about what your person is thinking and feeling. And you know what, you guys? I also have the star in the reverse I was just talking about this person um, never being able to move forward. You know, it's like they're hoping and wishing and praying to be with you, Pisces. But at the end of the day, what actions are they taking to do that? You know what I'm saying? So hopefully this Seven of Wands is indicative of their need to go to battle for this connection. To fight for what they truly want. Because they can't want the Ten of Cups in the reverse. They can't want to stay unhappy and unfulfilled, unsatisfied with their life in a loveless marriage or situation. They want their wish. So remember, divine timing is at play here, especially now that we've got the star, the Eight of Wands, the Six of Cups. It's, it's a divinely guided connection. So... Let's talk about this person. Whoop, let's talk about this person's conscious awareness. So first of all, this is a huge chunk of cards, but I'm going to go through it because the top card here is the Page of Swords, which is a card we've already gotten, and the bottom card is the Chariot, which is another card we've already got. So let's just see what Spirit has to say about this because they're clearly watching you. Okay, they're stalking you, they're keeping an eye on you, but it's because they're just trying to learn more about you. The owl symbolizes um, wisdom and learning, higher knowledge. Okay, ah, The next card up is the judgment card in the reverse. They're watching you because they know they made a wrong choice. Okay, They know that they made a bad judgment call in the past, and spirit is not letting them forget it. Okay, They're not letting them forget there's some element of this person needing to break free and they're keeping themselves stuck by making poor choices, okay? We also have the father of swords in the reverse. Interesting. So Pisces, in I would say seven out of 12 readings that I did, I had received the queen of swords in the reverse. Now we're getting the masculine energy of this, of this. Okay. So 
your person has not been honest with themselves. All right, they've not been listening to their higher selves. They've been ignoring their divine feminine energy. Okay, I see this as a distorted um, sort of masculine energy, someone who just kind of is cold, cutting, calculating, possibly manipulative. And again, we heard before, they are trying to get what they want. So by not being honest with themselves, they ended up screwing the pooch and getting none of what they wanted because now I feel Pisces as if you're about to walk away from this person and they sense it which is why they've got their owl eyes on you okay now we have justice so period point blank justice is coming for you Pisces in this situation but ultimately this could also signify a divorce okay legal issues being clarified and resolved a balancing of energy so because you and this person went through this situation, it spawned their spiritual awakening. They're starting to balance their light and dark energy. They're, they're divine masculine, divine feminine. They're yin to their yang. Whatever you want to call it, this person is receiving karmic justice for how they treated you, and it is pushing them into a spiritual awakening. And right after I say this, I have the nine of wands. We got the wounded warrior, another common theme in these readings. This to me is the look of spiritual ascension, walking up this very steep staircase as your dress, your, your capri pants, whatever the hell you're wearing, your ankle socks are getting torn and tattered on these branches. It reminds me of the scene in Snow White where she's running through the woods and the branches start looking like they're alive and they're clawing at her. That is what a spiritual awakening feels like. It feels like somebody brings you to the top of the steps and then kicks you in the back on the way back down and makes you walk up again. That is what a spiritual awakening feels like. This is your person ascending and going through their spiritual journey. Okay, It is not for the faint of heart. We also have the death card, so Scorpio energy. This person is going through a major transformation. Their consciousness is transforming. They're using their discernment now. They're starting to connect the dots, okay? Your person might not be such a dummy anymore. So, interesting energy. What are the last two? Yep, we have the Four of Swords and the Chariot. Because what happens after a spiritual awakening? What happens after a death and transformation and rebirth? You need to heal, okay? We have this crown, or excuse me, third eye chakra opening with this sun. This person intuitively knows that there's a new beginning coming for them. They know that they need to surrender to the divine and allow things to play out how they must. Whatever will be, will be. Your person could be needing to recuperate from such an ordeal, right? Again, if they went through a divorce or they're going through a divorce, this is heavily on their mind right now. It is a uphill battle to say the least. So healing is absolutely necessary here for your person because the chariot it comes last. And again, it's all about their conscious awareness. This is the story that spirit wanted us to see. Your person is going to move this chariot forward because they are working on their, their energy. They're working on balancing out their shadow. They know that the next steps of the journey involve a coming together, a, a union, harmony, a balance, okay? So this person is definitely um, revving the engine right now, okay, so to speak. They're preparing to move things forward, but they have to take care of business first, all right? So how are they feeling about all of that? Oh my gosh, you guys, eight out of 12. We have the mother of swords in the reverse as well. So what did I say earlier? You know, this person, this could be their counterpart that they're dealing with currently. This could be, it, it's like, what do they say? We have like the, the perfect match or the, um, the, where the court cards match. We have the king and the queen of swords, but both in the reverse. Yikes. That sounds like 
That sounds like a dinner party I don't want to go to, okay? This is like a battle of wits and intelligence. These are two people who are, I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking of like two birds pecking at each other, like not in a nice way, okay? So it's like this person feels as if maybe they've been betrayed or manipulated, that they've gotten themselves into some sort of a situation. They say, you know, people are the perfect match for one another or they're, they're perfect for each other, but sometimes that comes with a hint of disdain and disgust, right? Being perfect for each other or made for each other can sometimes signify two people who are miserable together, okay? Because misery loves company. So we go back to this Ten of Cups in the reverse. They feel as if they have um, some sort of dissonant energy in their environment, okay? They feel like they've been played, <laughs> Look at this. It almost looks like we have um, a mirror image, right? Uh, oh, and you know what? That's also significant. You know, again, this person could also be the type that keeps an eye on your person, right? Trying to catch them slipping, which could be why your person is watching you from the shadows, okay? Because someone else is watching them. Whew deep. All right, Pisces. So what is their intended actions? What are their likely actions towards you moving forward? The nine of pentacles. So I think what they really want to do is simply just become single. They want to, they want to file their independence from this person, from this distorted counterpart situation. They're wanting to be stable, secure, and satisfied with themselves, okay, financially, also within themselves. The Nine of Pentacles is the pre-Empress energy. So let's talk about Divine Feminine again. They want to create an abundant situation for themselves. And I think it's ironic that we have four feathers protecting the Pentacles here. Four feathers translate to me as four wands, okay? So this person is aware that in order for them to achieve harmony, union, and a stable connection, a true marriage and partnership, that they first need to be stable and true and secure within themselves. They intend to break free from this marriage. I feel like a lot of people are getting divorced this spring. I'm not going to lie. This has been a very repetitive storyline here, okay? But there has been major transformations happening astrologically, and we're right before eclipse season, okay? This full moon in Libra is going to be the start of eclipse season officially, all right? So we're in the thick of it. And Anything that's not meant to happen or be is going to fall away. Anything that doesn't work out right now, it's because of destiny, of fate. It's because it's not supposed to work. So all of these stagnant, stuck situations of convenience or finances, they're starting to dissolve. So that is what's happening for your person, okay? They intend to become single. Yeah, and we have the world. They, they're they ready to complete this cycle once and for all, okay? They're completing the fool's journey. They intend to learn the lessons, do the work, and become solid on their own. Now, what is their truest desired outcome here? Okay, so the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Now, the Ace of Swords is also coming up in the reverse, okay? So I'm picturing I'm picturing Sleeping Beauty, okay? Where the sword gets like jammed into the it's like basically the ground, but the the sword he throws it, right? And he launches it. And there's this energy that I'm feeling here that this person is understanding that now if they're wanting this solid new beginning, if they're wanting to make a solid offer, they need to come in hard and straight up with the truth. There can't be any more dishonesty. There can't be any more false beginnings or, or manipulation or confusion. This person knows that if they're going to have this 
they're gonna have true growth, if they wanna propose to you, Pisces, if they want to have something that's long lasting and tangible, then they have to be honest, okay? They need to be honest. Otherwise, it's not going to go anywhere, and it's just going to be this sad-looking tree stump, okay? So, interesting energy popping up for this person. And we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, so they're ready. They, they got the key in the engine. They fired it up. They're ready to take the next steps to have a passionate new start. This could also be saying that your person wants to reach out to you with messages of passion, right? We saw that with the Eight of Wands. But um, this image of the snake here, here and here, forming the infinity symbol. It's almost like saying your person knows that no matter what sort of no matter what sort of dissonance there was between you for whatever reason, it's like they know that this connection is going to remain alive forever, okay, for eternity. So now I'm hearing the song Eternity from the Swan Princess. So there's something to be said there, okay? I think this person is aware that no matter what direction they go in, that the passion they have for you is never going to go away, okay? And then we have the Fool. So they're definitely wanting a new beginning. They're wanting to take this risk and a leap of faith. Um, you could also be dealing with an Aries. So let's go ahead and see what is this person's challenge. I love how we have the Ace of Swords twice. There's been so many repetitive energies um, and double sort of cards coming out, okay? So... So I just got the image of a double yoked egg. So, you know, there's something to say about the connection that you have with this person. And you know what? I wasn't going to say it, but now I'm going to say it because the temperance card just popped out as their challenge. But the temperance card was on the bottom of the deck as I was putting it down. Okay. So temperance signifying that balance we were talking about, divine timing, um, everything being alchemically organized behind the scenes but you can see we have these two people and again this reminds me of the double egg yolk two people of one soul so again this could be a twin flame situation this is a divinely guided connection but their challenge is to remain patient their challenge is to balance that energy like we were saying before we also have the seven of pentacles awaiting results another card of being patient this person could be very ready right we've got the the um where is it the page of wands and the fool they're ready to take this leap they want it to come into fruition, but they need to be patient. You are in a situation where seeds have been planted between you and this person, but it's going to take a while for those seeds to be fully at their potential to be ready to be harvest. Okay, so this also is talking to me about this person's growth. So it's kind of correlating. This person wants to reap the rewards of the connection with you, but they need to be patient because they themselves are still growing. They are still going through a situation that requires them to wait, okay? What else do we need to see about their challenges? There are so many connections in this reading. It's all very intricately entwined. Helpless and hopeless, eight of swords. So their challenge is to get the hell out of their head. Okay, they're creating some sort of like prison situation going on in their mind where they feel like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. We have identical looking paths going up here. Again, the symmetry that we're seeing. We have this here. All of these mirroring sort of images happening. They feel as if they are stuck, like they, they don't know what to do, helpless and hopeless. But this is a mentality. They need to kick that mentality 
Okay, so we're going back to the discernment and the divine feminine. So in a distorted masculine energy, aka the father of swords, that could be exactly the problem, okay? Being stuck in their mind or their ego or letting logic take the lead when what they've needed to do this whole time is open their heart, okay? So very interesting energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the four of swords, which already popped up. This person's challenge is the healing process, while they're regrowing or um, getting their groove back in a sense, as they're building back up to this nine of pentacles, they need to breathe, relax. They need to commune with their higher self. You can see she's reaching out, but the mirror image is of herself. This reading is incredibly deep. So whoever this is resonating for, I would have to say this is probably one of the most synchronistic readings I've seen out of all the zodiac signs and y'all are the last so maybe we save the best for last Pisces what does this person want you to know what does this person want you to know the dragonfly so be lighthearted, finding out, things coming to light, adapting, changing, and healing. So this is the energy of luck in love. This person, I think, is also letting you know that they are journeying towards you. They are rolling with the punches, adapting to these changes. And with things coming to light, it all connects back to this original energy here. So I'm not sure if you can see this candle right here, but all of a sudden it just got really dim. So it could be getting ready to, to go out, but I don't know why I looked at it right at that moment and noticed that. So that could also be very symbolic, okay? It's shifting from side to side now, the flame. So your person could have been through quite the... Um, the journey when it comes to that two of wands, right? Um, wanting to move things forward, but feeling stuck like they can't. So they are finding out about themselves. They're discovering who they are, right? They're discovering their connection to you, to the universe, and they're starting to find out the truth. Again, going back to the discernment energy. So what else do we need to see? Okay, so the camera popped out, which confirms that um, that Six of Cups energy, reminiscing on keepsakes, perception, learning from the past, and making memories. So they are, um, again, they're watching you. They could be looking at photos of you and thinking about what things were like when they were in your energy, okay? We have the Phoenix that death energy we saw as well, rising like the phoenix, coming into a new phase, transformation, growth, and changed mind. Changed mind. So ultimately, that's what we're hoping for, right? We're hoping to flip that father of swords up in the upright where this person has control over their mind, where they realize that their logic is not the one who always needs to be in the driver's seat of the chariot, right? So the coffin coming up after that is endings bring new beginnings. Again, we're talking about growth and change, liberation and transition. So when I see the coffin, I think of the Lenormand, right? We're talking Talking about something that's dead and, and gone and over and done. So maybe this person with this Four of Swords energy, we know the original Four of Swords is someone laying on top of what looks like a coffin, right? This could be a metaphorical meaning of putting the nails in the coffin of their situation, of their previous connection, signifying that that connection is officially over. And whether or not it legally is, I think that they're wanting you to know that, that it's over for them, okay? It's over for them. Ah, we have the Twin Flames card popping out. Even more confirmation, Pisces. So this person wants you to know they feel that connection with you. They feel as if you are the yin to their yang. They're wanting to come into union. You complement one another. There's a balance between the two of you, okay? The double-egged yolk, Pisces. 
coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. You know, they can want to take you out for coffee or out for a meal. They want to talk to you. They want to, they want to update you on what's been going on. Okay. So they might try to approach you in, in like a casual way, um, just to kind of see <laughs> how you will receive them based on what happened between the two of you in the past. So let's get one more shuffle from this deck and then we'll move on to messages. mask oh my gosh and you know what's so crazy y'all look at this right underneath all of this we have old dude in the mask okay it landed right on top of there so they are confirming again for you that they haven't been showing you their true feelings okay they've been masking what's been going on pretending, deluding, gaslighting. So going back to what we said about this person having someone watching them, they're hiding for good reason is what I'm hearing. Okay, they're hiding for good reason. They don't want to expose themselves prematurely. Okay, they need to be careful about how they move with that queen of swords in the reverse. Okay, because I have a feeling that this person that they're dealing with is the one who controls the narrative and controls things in general. And right after that, we have engagement ring, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So this person, we saw the Ace of Pentacles, okay? This person could very well have a ring, want to propose to you, knowing that you're the person they want to commit with, commit to, <laughs> and then we have the axe. Okay, so yeah, confirming again, breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. So uh, definitely giving this relationship the axe, ending things. And to confirm that traitor energy, we have stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. So ultimately, this person's going through things behind the scenes, and they're dealing with this sort of energy. They could also be acknowledging how they stabbed you in the back. All right. They could be worried that you will give them the axe and put an end to all of this based on how they treated you in the past, which is why they're also moving cautiously. They don't want to be overzealous or presumptive and come towards you and thinking, okay, we're just going to come into union now because I got my shit together. Um, you could have very well moved on by then. And that is what they're truly worried about. Okay. So let's see what this person's higher self wants you to know. What do they want to say to you, Pisces? And this is the divine masculine energy Oracle, which can be purchased in my makeplayingcards.com shop. That link is below. So first things first, they just want to hold you in their arms. All right. They miss being with you, touching you, um, being intimate with you. They want to hold you. I mean, this could just simply be them wanting to hug you, okay? Hugs are so underrated nowadays. I feel like people, um, <laughs> people like to keep their distance and keep their space, but, like, nothing really compares to, like, a giant bear hug. What do they say? Like, after a certain amount of time of hugging someone, like, your brain immediately starts releasing uh, dopamine. It's, like, it's a healing energy. So being in your arms is healing to them. I find strength in vulnerability. So we saw the strength card earlier, right? We know that this person needs to open their heart. So hopefully that's what's happening for them. They're transforming this need to have their mind take the wheel and allowing themselves to be open and receptive to their feelings. I want to be the person you deserve, but I'm not sure that I can be. All right, so this person has gone through the ringer in this other situation. This could be them having confidence issues. Um, again, being afraid that they ruined their chances with you, that they had their shot and they blew it. But we have 333, three, three. my prayers are being answered and I am divinely guided. So ultimately this person is receiving signs that are guiding them back to you. They're praying about this situation. Their prayers are being answered. This could be that justice card coming through, okay? They know that the situation is being divinely guided because even though things might seem like a shit show, they're also oddly falling into place for this person. 
So let's see what else they want to say. Let's see what else they want to say. Okay, your light still amazes me. How could I not love you? Yeah, like, how could they not love you, Pisces? How could they not? They know that you are the one that turned on that light and sent them on their spiritual journey. I'm cutting away the things that no longer serve my highest good. So, yeah, like I said, they could be the one giving the ax to this connection and putting those final nails in the coffin. Love is power. So the love that they have for you has renewed their strength. It's made them stronger. Okay. And one more message and then the reading is done and we will close it out. Okay. One more shuffle for Pisces. I want to start over the right way. So again, that page of swords or that watching energy is because they want to come correct. They want to come in with the right approach. So hopefully this reading resonated for someone out there um, because look at that. They also understand how important the connection is now, okay? So hopefully this uh, was for someone. And if not, like I said, you can always book a personal reading and we can look into your specific situation. Um, don't forget to include your email address when purchasing a reading so I know who to contact. And other than that, Pisces, I love you guys and I hope you enjoy the like last one or two days of Aries season. Bye.